curious to know, is there a difference, do you think, in you mentioned personality, in temperament between the kinds of people who are attracted to and run startups and the temperament of people who are more than happy working within the systems of a big company? Yeah. Are there, have you noticed different personality types or is it a bit of everything? Well, there are, there are some common traits. Uh, an article I wrote that I published on my Shockwave Innovation site is titled The Eight Personas of Successful Entrepreneurs. The purpose of that article was actually to convey uh, the fact that multiple personas can lead to successful entrepreneurship. We always hear about the hacker-hustler duo, that you mm -hmm. either need to be a hacker or a hustler. Okay, good. Those are, you know, those are fine personas to talk about, but I also describe how conservatives and visionaries and explorers and others, I defined eight of them. It took me about a year and a half to write that article, not to actually write it down, but to do the thinking and decide on my own, what did I think? What have I observed as the eight successful personas? And the desperate need to mix those together. If, if a startup is built of all of the same persona type, it's going to crash and burn. If the first eight companies, founders and employees, into a startup are all hackers, are all explorers, it's going to crash and burn. You need that diversity of persona to be successful. But I can say um, there is a risk tolerance that all of them must have. This is why I celebrate uh, entrepreneurship pursuits during uh, university days while going to college, giving it a try because uh, an important part of, of life is figuring out the intersection of things that we like to do and things that we're good at. Mm -hmm. Doing that in a safe setting while you're in, you know, going to get your college degree and you're financially supported by others, either your parents or maybe a side hustle job or a, or a loan or whatever, you, can, you have some freedom to experiment and see, are you good at it? and do you like to do it? And it's the like to do it that I find that some founders, as they, as they explored that, they realized that they are not that risk tolerant. The stress that just came from the risk involved, the risk of failure, the risk of crash and burn, just really didn't suit them. That's valuable to learn because they probably should you know, go a different direction. Now maybe later in their life, they might develop that risk tolerance and it might even come from having a couple hundred thousand dollars of savings in their bank account and now they're willing to to take a risk. Other founders absolutely loved that risk profile. So I would say whether you're an explorer, a visionary, or some of these other personas that I define that could be successful entrepreneurs, you do have to have a level of risk tolerance, fire in your belly, and, and some things like that. 